Guys, you are on Epoxy Live, and this is a super big surprise. We are here with world-famous YouTubers, Paul's Toolbox and Carl Jacobson. We have a guest all the way from Cancun, Augustine. Hola. We're about to bring the party to your house right now. Thanks for joining us. You're going to learn how to do epoxy like a pro. Stay tuned. Enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. All right, guys, we're punching perfectionism in the face and we're going live right now. Right now, live. We, we've been making videos all week, right? Yep. Yes, oh, man. yeah. Man, Carl, Carl, Carl is a master wood turner. How long have you been doing that, man? About 25 years. Oh, just 25 years. <laughs> you might be kind of good at something by yeah. then, right? Paul, have you learned a ton from Carl this week? Yeah, 25 years worth. Yeah, <laughs> I've learned a ton from you. Paul, Great stuff, man. Man, Great, Paul's putting together a class, a hands-on class right now. It's yeah. exclusive. Tell us about that. Where's that going to be? Oh, uh, the American Builders. <laughs> the American Builders. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're with Brian Gary, right? I'm with Brian Gary. You're killing me. Yeah, he, you guys are doing this this really cool the American artist. College of the Building Arts is what we're doing. Uh, we're doing a class in there, and this is going to be super cool stuff. They yes. Are, this is an accredited college, but we're doing a class in South in, Carolina, in South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, and we're doing it with him. Mm -hmm. He's going to come out here. We're going to do some really cool projects for people, teach them how to do it. Um, this is your first time, and he's learned a lot already. A lot. Just yeah. because he's very easy. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Augustine easy comes stuff. from Cancun. He's the dad of one of my mentors, Anthony Ambrose. Anthony, get back here. He, we're live, and we are getting him live. This is the reason Anthony that we go house. live right here. Anthony yeah. Ambrose. Yeah. Anthony, how you doing, man? Doing great. Doing Anthony great. taught us a training yesterday on the new tips and tricks of 2020 and YouTube. This yeah. is the guy that we turn to to learn how to get in front of more eyeballs just like you guys. We want to thank you for being live. Anthony, if people have a YouTube channel and they want to grow it, how do they find you? Oh, Go to Video Creator Secrets and you'll see my face on those thumbnails doing these things like this. <laughs> Check it out. Yesterday he told Good me stuff. my thumbnails need work. He told me go live more often. So you guys let us know in the comments, should we go live more often? And if we should, crush that like button. If you don't, that's not a vote. Right? Not Is that how we get more engagement right there? Should we do the challenge so people don't Oh, no, no, we're not doing Not that. yet. They already scared me to do it live. I want you to do it live. All right, so they didn't come here just to see our pretty faces, right? They came here to learn epoxy, Let's so we're going to dive right. into Let's it. Let's get to it. Let's get what we do. So we got our stone coat countertop epoxy mixed at a one-to-one -one ratio. We pre-mixed this so that when we go live, we can show you some magic right now. We were working for our hands-on training class. We're prepping yep. and, and creating that syllabus right Right now, you guys are behind the scenes in something that we did yesterday. We love this recipe so much. We're going to show you how easy it is. We did it on a small sample board. Can one of you guys grab that small sample board from yesterday? We did this with our hands. We were live when we did it, but we're going to show it translates to a big piece. We're going to do it on a big piece today. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, we, we only got three colors. We're going to do our white base tint, our black base tint, and our gold metallic. All right. How do you like the metallics, Paul? Man, I love these metallics. I play with them all the time. And nice. Paul's toolbox. Thank you. Yeah. And home. This is great stuff. All right. Do you have a spoon or are you just going to... Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just pour it. So when you use... Let me actually... Let me get these kind of even. So how do you get those even when they're different size cups? Guess. Yes, I like that. <laughs> That's good. You know what I you know what I learned Don't about Carl? At me again. We made this live <laughs> edge bowl. Is, yeah. Man, we gotta grab. Can somebody Mitch, you know where that or we'll, we'll have to just go check Show out our bowls. YouTube channel. Yeah. Check out our social media. We've been showing the bowls that we've been making Man. with you. And what I've learned about Carl is the guy can say he's like guessing or eyeballing, but it's exactly the yeah. dimension it's yeah. supposed to be. He's he's like <laughs> we told him, we asked him to cut the thing around and then um, and he just Pulled, peels it out. Great stuff, man. Yeah. So I got some black in there. I got some white. Don't put too much white. Yeah, you want two ounces per quart at the most. That's the proper amount. You don't want to go any more than that. And then we're going to do our gold metallic. Uh, you guys want to grab a paint stick yep. and start yeah. mixing yeah. those. Mixing this stuff yeah. Guys, is there any comments right now or any questions that you have that we can answer we'll for you while we're live? live? Let us know. Thank you. People are loving that we're live. Nice. nice. Hey, go ahead and go to the overhead camera, Chris, and we're going to show them this sample that we made. 
So we're going to show you guys how to make that right now. Tell us if you like that. That thing is sick. If you don't like it, I still like it. I like it. <laughs> it was fun doing that stuff. Check out the community tab and the stories as well. Oh, yeah. Come, come back here, Mitch. Tell them about that. Tell them what we're starting to do. So this is because of our training yesterday that we, we had with Anthony. So guys, yeah. What are we going to do with our community, Mitch? So on our YouTube channel, we're starting to run our new stories. We're going to be promoing our new videos behind the scenes. Check it out. And we have a new community tab. Check that out. We'll put posts, pictures. You can see Carl ch chainsaw up that, uh, <laughs> that bowl, that sink we turned yesterday. Check it out, guys. Good. Good points, awesome. man. There's well, a lot going on, man. Lots you guys, of good uh, tips. So yeah, Paul and Carl. Yeah. Well, no, this isn't Carl's first time, but this is your first time to the shop, Paul. What do you think of the new, yeah, I love the the new shop. shop, man? Oh, yeah. man, I love this old shop. This, yeah. thing's, this thing's a Cadillac. Yeah. This is fun, man. This is great. And your first time live. My, we're, we're live? <laughs> All right, so this is a fun technique, but there's a couple idiosyncrasies that you have to keep in mind. Number one, we're not going to trowel and chop like we normally do. So it's really nice that we had it pre-mixed. We segregated it out into different buckets put the additives in and mix it again. This ensures that you're not gonna have any soft spots in your project. Now what we're gonna do is elongated lines and then we're gonna rub these out with our hands. We're gonna take turns. We're not gonna pour the entire batch. So all the black isn't gonna get poured out at once. We're gonna do half the container of each and then we'll kind of rotate through. We're gonna start and stop at the ends of the piece. Don't pour the material off the piece because mm -hmm. we want to keep everything on the piece. But when you're doing this kind of a technique, you're going to use a little bit more epoxy. So because of that, we got a surprise for you. We're going to give you a discount code for being live on such short notice with us. We're going to give you a code that only lasts for 24 hours. So if you guys like this technique and want to test it and try it, go check out Stone Coat and you're going to get a really cool discount. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what that code is. All right, that's a little bit of manipulation, but Anthony told us to do that too. <laughs> All right, let me wipe off this here. Um, this is where we look. Uh, you can see, so what's cool, Paul? Right there, that's what they see. Switch cameras, Chris. So that's what they see no, now. No, but I mean, I see right here, we're looking at this. Uh, switch to a different role. See, now you, look, uh, over, now you look over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, stop looking at yourself. Yeah. I'm not. That's what I said. Should I look here? Paul, see the blue Paul's light? always looking in the mirror. Oh, What's geez. up? <laughs> I didn't know where to look. I'm like, this thing got an eye on the You're just used to this. Ah, All right, so let's move those colors. Guys, I'm going right. to do the first color. We're going to start with the bases, okay? Yep. Ooh, ooh, what was that? There's a... So all I'm going to do is start and go and go elongated. Okay. Gold is the last. Do gold last. Yeah, we're going to get all the base tent. You, you go ahead, Carl. All right. You're good. All right, I'm coming down. We're going to do it again anyway. Same basic. Yeah, about half the half the container. You want to cross it or? It doesn't matter. Just long lines, straight lines. Straight lines, straight down, straight down. Nice. You can cross this, but you just want it. Yep. Straight. All right, go ahead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me get all the base out first. Okay. The reason I want to do all the base out first is when you, when you have metallic sitting on top, yeah. the base tries to fight back through it, and you get that really cool selling. Just like this piece back here, yeah. that's where you get that effect. Right. So okay? Here. So I'm going to go white again here. Let me go here. Awesome. Paul, you want to finish that white? Yeah. Sweet stuff. All right. Oh. Cool. You, baby. All right. I should get a little, I'm going to try to get a little bit of white in the corner. So not too much. I don't know much more of that. Okay, now all I want you to do with that gold is try to get the spots that are empty. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And don't let it run off the front, though. Nice. I love that gold, man. That's some oh, cool yeah. looking stuff. That's nice. the same gold we have in the trailer. Huh? Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I love it. Your mobile trailer is, yeah. you know, guys, if you haven't seen what Carl Jacobson does in front of a live audience when he's doing trainings, he does it right out of his mobile shop. That thing is awesome, man. Thanks. We're making a, we're making a new countertop for it right now. Yes. It's going to be All right. Oh, be that's awesome. good. Cool. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this half, and you guys are going to work on that half. Yep. 
Okay. But watch how fast this is. This is a really long. easy technique, but all I'm going to do is long strokes. I'm not going to do horseshoes. I'm not going to start and stop in the same mm -hmm. place. Yeah, no. And I'm not going to over mix it. I want to under mix it because I could always come back and mix it more and go slow. We're not in a hurry. We don't need to, we don't need to uh, be fast and throw epoxy everywhere. I'm just going to go nice and easy. I'm just going to push this epoxy around. See how that's bald? I'll yeah. bring some epoxy back. I'm just gonna push it like this. Cool I'm gonna yeah. push it like this. Yeah, I love it, man. Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna get it on this camera right here. Mitch, can you come show them this technique? This is like live PD right here. <laughs> this is, uh, so I'm just gonna show them how I'm doing this. So I'm just going back, and coming back again. That's it, that's all you need to do. That looks awesome. Right here, looks awesome. Yeah. and then Ooh. bring it back. That's all I'm doing. This is just such a fun medium to work with. Guys, let us know. Have you done any epoxy projects yet? Let us know how you liked it. And was it really as easy as we show it is on the videos? It is. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to now get any bald spot no, there. Just... And that's it right there. Okay, you guys do. Uh, so go ahead and take Three. turns yeah. rubbing in that, that material. I'll get the far end. So one thing that we like to do when we do hands-on training is we like to show techniques that appear very complex when you're done, but they're actually extremely repeatable. They're easy. They're easy to replicate. Guys come in. And, yeah, I shouldn't have gone that far. Sorry. Start hitting the sides here. All right. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Make sure you have good coverage on that. That's beautiful. And the cells are already starting to pop up. Yes. Yeah. And I'm just grabbing some of the excess yeah. material out of these buckets and just rubbing those edges. All right. That's mixed enough. A little more on that side there. You can even take the metallic. Boy, this is looking really, really cool. I think that's oh. good. So all I want to do now, guys, is see the like the tadpoles here yep. i'm just going to skip trial that out yep that's it just look for anything that doesn't look like it's going with natural. that grain yeah right here. yeah yep yeah oh yes all right nice. now we're going to heat this up a little bit with the heat gun paul you uh so i'm going to show you guys what i like to do okay and then uh we'll heat this up and then maybe we'll tilt this a little bit yeah. and give it some really nice movement when i put in long lines like this, I like to create movement with gravity or heat or air, things like that. Grab it, no, I'll, I'll roll it out. He'll, he'll pull your head yeah, okay. yeah. So all I'm doing now is just moving some of the material around with a heat gun. A few little tadpoles there I'm gonna erase. Beautiful. Any questions in the comment section? Yeah, you'll have to stay to the end of the video to get the coupon code. <laughs> yeah, if I don't, my, my buddy Anthony is going to tell me I missed out on an opportunity. <laughs> Guys, Anthony has really helped us with, with, with helping us yeah. with our YouTube channel. I'm a contractor. I'm not a web guy, and he's really bridged the gap between common sense approach to a really, a really good YouTube channel in 2019 and 2020. He's the reason we went live originally, and this is why we will continue to push the envelope in bringing you the latest and greatest of how to do epoxy like a pro. We've also up-leveled our camera equipment. We got angles all over the place so that you can really be here in the shop so you can get that hands-on training experience. I mean, check out this one right here. Like, watch this. This is, this is gonna be cool. Okay, Thank watch. You. I mean. Okay, let me get you. Oh, Mitch, you come record yeah, it. <laughs> this is hard. Uh, the best material to pour on. Uh, the best material to pour on is anything that looks really ugly. We love to take old Formica laminate, solid surface, tile, these kind of things, and up level them and make them look brand new. So we went over MDF here, and that's just fine because it's inexpensive and it's the same material all the way through. You guys want to work that heat gun a little bit? Just move that material around. Oh, this is looking beautiful, man. I don't know if that camera does this thing justice. Well, no, oh, man. Let's get that. 
it looks amazing. You're before we went on, you're I'm not going to tell you what we're doing. It's uh, so easy. Isn't it and easy? And it looks, that looks cool. so cool. Yeah. yeah. Now you could see why this is addictive, like turning, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's yeah. just <laughs> just every one of them is completely yeah. different. Yes. And, yeah. So, yeah. And you could get a whole bunch of people on the same piece, and it looks right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The yeah. more organic yeah. you make I mean, it, you the better. You start from one end, you come to the other end, you still have it all. It just blends. Yes. Yep. You stopped here, we started here, and it still it just blends. Yep. Good stuff. Augustine, you live in Cancun. Yes. You think this material would look cool in Cancun? Of course. Nobody knows um, over there in Mexico too much about this. So that's why we want to start doing that's projects cool. like this. Nice. Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe that would give us a reason to come to Cancun. Hey, we have <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, do you want to hey, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's asking why you didn't chop this one. Great question. The reason we didn't chop is because we're keeping these colors slightly more segregated. But with that comes a little risk of soft spots if you're undermixed. That's why we poured it into three different cups and we remix that color in that material. We also are going to waste a little bit more material because we're pushing it out with our hands and that's okay. We mixed yeah. about four ounces Man, per square cool. foot as opposed cool. to the normal three ounces per yeah. square foot. Great question. Oh, yeah. Also, our customer service has been in on these hands-on trainings. They're learning exactly what we're doing right now to up-level our project. So if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out and call us at our uh, normal line. Thanks, guys. Keep, keep those questions coming. One, one customer would like to know, what is the different step to prep laminate versus MDF? Great question. Laminate needs to be uh, applied. You need to treat it with bonding primer. It's the gap that bridges a solid, non-porous surface to epoxy. If I just pour epoxy over slick, smooth plastic or granite or natural stone, it can be pulled off. It can be delaminated. Without that mechanical bond or that bonding primer, you're going to get that problem. So. Use our bonding primer right before you use your paint and primer in one, and you're ready to go. Let that dry fully. Let it let it uh, be ready for the next day, and then you're ready for that next step. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Beautiful, guys. I think that's it. All right, yeah. we're going to tilt this. Let, let us know, guys. Do you want us to tilt this and give it a little bit more oh, organic yeah. movement? Well, well, I know you do, Paul, but I, I want to find out if they, <laughs> okay. if they do. What are they saying, Chris? Tilt. Do they want us to tilt this piece and show them the movement that it can create by doing that. Now, if you can't do that, let's say you're going over old existing countertops, that's okay. Use the heat gun to get that movement. But if you warm this up like we just did with that heat gun, it's fluid and it's more fluid in some places as opposed to others. So you're gonna get irregular movement, which is what we're looking for. It kind of gives you that organic approach as opposed to trying to put it in organically. This is really the way to get that stacked sediment look with a little bit of cheating, right? Tilt it. All right, let me see the paper towels, please. All right, thank you guys. What are they saying? Do they want us to tilt it, Chris? Yes. 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 Yeah. All right, we're tilting it. Uh, Paul, you want to help me? You want to help me out no, front? Let's call them. No, geez. <laughs> Where are you going? Tilt, tilt, tilt. That make him do it. So we're going to tilt it this direction first, okay? Right, we're going to come here. Ready? We're going to go back. You guide me, Up and, and I'll follow you. You see the movement there is awesome. Oh, wow. All it goes right. fast. We're good? We're yeah, come go in. Further. Yeah, further. Yeah, further. further. He's going to go oh, all the way. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go back and do the other way. Okay. Look at that already. Whoa. That's see what cool. that does? So, Carl, you've sent me some paint off of a shop floor and how it yeah. stacks up in those layers. Yeah. That's yeah. kind yeah. of the effect that right. we I get here. That, I love it. All right. Let's do this other direction. Ready? Yep. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. Oh, this is the master over here. I do it. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yep. Good. Oh, guys, that's awesome. Uh, and let's go back the other way one yep. more time. Okay. All right. It looks like a landscape. You I know? know? I mean, yeah. like, that is beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. I love this color combination. Yep. Yeah. Holy cow. I'm not as strong as Paul, yes, but it's worth holding this up. Oh my gosh. That is cool, guys. Oh my yeah. gosh. Are you glad we tilted? 
Yeah, I'm okay. glad we I'm, tilted. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, yeah. see the little fine bubbles? Love it. I'm going to go ahead and torch this one final time. Yeah. Okay. Can I see that torch, Carl? You bet. So when we torch the material, it helps get the final bubbles out. Most of the bubbles are gone, but you see those yep. little fine yeah, bubbles? Okay. And it pops right out. They come right out. Yep. yep. I'm just going to torch it like this. I'm going to sweep the surface. It's like hosing off your driveway with water. Unless you're in a drought, then you need to broom it. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure it gets these sides. Rub these sides. You want to do the other open. half? Here, you want to, you want to catch it? I'll, oh my goodness! Look at how that you looks. I was just catching these sides. All right. of Holy oh, cow! All right. Ooh. Thank you. All right. Any other questions we can answer? You like that, Carl? Oh yeah, love it. Love it. I love it. I know, I know. That looks. Good. Get oh, a little man. closer with the torch. All right. And then you can look. Use the light. Yeah. See how you see how you can yeah. see it pop. Yeah. 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 Certain angle yeah. Uh, you were about to know when the best time to call customer services. Uh, great question. Pacific time. Anytime between the hours of eight and four are the ideal times. Monday <laughs> we're super busy because all of us yeah. have families and we don't work on the weekend, so we get an influx of calls on Monday. We appreciate that, but we will always return your call. We will always return your emails. Feel free to use us as a project resource. We're trained and we're ready and we're here to help you guys. Thank yeah, you very much. That's one thing that sets no, us apart no, from a lot of e-commerce companies. We really okay. believe in that one-on-one -on -one training that you yeah. need to get your project to yeah. come to fruition. Did that one? Okay. Okay. Yes. We'd also like oh, to know if like wood and stone, stone, stone is compatible in the same stone. project. Oh, good question. We actually had an idea. The burrow hunter has a broken piece of granite that we're actually going to spread. We're going to fill the veins of the granite. We're going to stabilize it, and then we're going to cut it to size and polish it and reinstall this thing as an artistic piece of up-leveled granite. So, yeah, they are compatible, but you do need a clear bonding primer to make it oh, yeah. stick yeah. to granite. You can get that from XIM if you're looking for a clear. Yep. There we go. A customer uh, wants to know if we have a red, white, and blue color scheme, and if you would show it. Yeah, we do have a red, white, and blue color scheme, and I did that on a painting that we did. We got a thrift store piece of art. It was just framed, and I caulked it out. We have a video on this that I did on Mother's Day with my mom. So, Mitch, you want to go find that in the showroom? It's right over there, and we'll show it right now. Red, white, and blue, and black as the backdrop. You guys want to see that? Let me know. We're going to fetch it right now. We need to drop a little bit. Do you have anything that I can just... Yeah, just scoop it off the deck. Scoop it up right there and just pour right yeah. here. Here we go. Yeah, if you don't mind. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. So when you tilt, you can draw things away from the a edge, bit, right? Yeah. And so that's a great point. Down. One thing that we're going to do on this Heat tomorrow, it guys. Let it run back over. We're going to sand this tomorrow with 220 grit and we'll do a clear coat. Right now, because these additives are fighting one another, they're not wanting to mix. That's what creates these really cool colors. And so because of that, we do always do a clear coat. And that's going to lay out like a sheet of glass. So you don't have to get a perfect pour on your first go. Do that on your clear coat. Jessica, do you want to go show them that piece? Wow, that's beautiful. All right. There's, there's red, white, and blue right there. Awesome. We, did a, 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 we did a we did a abstract bald eagle. That Very is cool. cool. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> America, America, baby. Yes. <laughs> Guys, uh, what are your thoughts, man? I love it. Love it. Mitch, you want to come back here and tell them how they can get their discount code? But before that, you're gonna. Uh, what do we say before that? We got them this long. You guys have stayed this long. You're waiting for that. You're waiting Question for that coupon. Question of the day. Question of the day. What is it? I'm stumped. <laughs> <laughs> Question of the day. What other color scheme would look good in this process? You got white base tint. You got black base tint. Just substitute the metallic color to make this match any decor. This is an earth tone process. It looks fantastic. This would work in any man cave. It would work in a kitchen. It would work in a commercial property. In fact, we're going to take Carl Jacobson's logo and CNC it into a finished project to then clear coat it, right? Yeah. So, guys, the sky's the limit with this medium. Let us know in the yeah. comments as the question of the day, what metallic would you substitute and how would that match your decor? And thank you so much for being here today. Go ahead and I'm on StoneCoatCountertops.com. Use the promo code LIVE, all lowercase, no caps. That will save you 10% off your complete order. 10%? 
10 we can't afford that bro they better <laughs> hurry <laughs> you guys better hurry we're about to take that down <laughs> limited time act fast live all lowercase 10 percent off your complete order guys visit us anytime at stonecoatcountertops.com check out paul's toolbox if you want to learn how to diy your way to perfection paul's show will teach you what oh anything on, really anything on your home i do all types of renovation Yes, so, he does. Uh, and now I'm doing a lot of epoxy stuff. Before right. I met Paul, I was watching and absolutely addicted to his channel. We met and now we're fast friends, brother. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Carl, how do people find you? Uh, we're on uh, the Woodshop TV on YouTube and we just turn. Carl turn Jenkinson goes all over the country and stuff. teaches artisans of the most high level how to take a raw burl, a piece of wood, and turn it into functional art. Crazy. His stuff is award-winning. He's the man, and now he has a beard. So go check out his channel. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. got to subscribe now. Check out <laughs> Anthony at Video Creator Secrets. Yeah, he yeah. will teach you how to take your YouTube content, your social media, all of your strategies to take your craft and turn it into cash. Take your passion, turn it into profit. He was at the Artisan Summit. In fact, yeah. everybody up here, except for Anthony's dad, which hopefully you come to the Artisan Summit this year, yeah. was yeah. at yeah. Artisan Summit 2019. Paul spoke, Carl spoke. We learned about their roots, why they started. We learned that Paul was on QVC. He's had inventions. He's a firefighter. He saves lives and he teaches people how to save their homes. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you at Artisan Sun at 2020. I can't wait to see you on our next video. And until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you on the next video. Woo! <laughs> that was live. Yeah.